boom how are you guys doing so we have a date that we will be coming back soon this month we are coming back may 23rd and we are so so excited to be uh, streaming for you guys again but for today we do have a couple of things to open for you guys which is uh i've been really excited for one of them uh the one i wasn't too excited about but still kind of excited because uh well it is the arceus v a uh, little figure box, collection box, I guess. Um, if you guys remember, in Japan, if you pre-ordered Pokemon Legends Arceus, you got this with a little uh, Legends Arceus stamp as the as a promo card. Uh, we didn't get that. We got like plushies or something from Pokemon Center, but we do get it in the form of this uh, Black Star promo in this Arceus V figure collection. There it is. And uh, the figure, I've, I've actually seen the figure outside of the box, and it is actually very, very uh, good quality. So hopefully, I've seen some people have some good luck with these. Uh, unfortunately for me, no Evolving Skies, but I do mess with that uh, Cosmic Eclipse in the back. Uh, Pokemon Center knows what we like, don't they? And, very excited because the chance of getting a Ghost Rare is, uh, well, the chance is really low, but um, hopefully I can pull the Cyber Dragon or any Ghost Rare. You, you pull the Ghost Rare, you basically have enough money for a case. So um, that's going to be really exciting. This is a new set, Ghosts from the Past, the second Haunting. This is the second um, Ghost from the Past, and uh, it's going to have a variety of Ghost Rares plus a bunch of reprints that uh, will um, basically... Uh, Basically, the, in Yu-Gi-Oh, if you guys don't know, in Yu-Gi-Oh, meta cards really drive the market. So a lot of the meta cards are reprinted in this uh, little mini set. So it, it uh, lowers the price a little bit, um, lowers the rarity of a lot of them, and uh, makes it easier for poor people <laughs> to access cards that are um, required to play at a high level. So that's going to be pretty interesting, uh, mostly for the Ghost Rares for me, since I'm more of a collector, and I don't believe there's anything in here that I need as a player. Uh, more uh, more um, info on my Yu-Gi-Oh! hobby in the future but um uh, i'm looking forward to this but for now um i i got the i purposely got the one that's ripped because uh, i'm i was planning to open this because i want that promo it's a beautiful promo and this one is also pretty well centered from what i can see so the other ones in the in the store were uh, a little bit uh off center like really off center really and uh, let's turn on the light see if that's uh, a little bit better so this uh, is going to go into my little uh, promo binder. Um, my, pro my promo binder at first was the sort of thing where I, I thought, you know, like, I'm going to put every promo ever in there. Obviously, that's not really feasible. I mean, it is, but for me personally, I would rather have a Rayquaza, finish my Rayquaza collection. So I'd rather not, you know, like, so basically, like, TLDR is basically, I'm gonna, I'm only gonna, like, pick and choose which promos I'd want, and this is definitely, this definitely has to be one of them. It is absolutely amazing. Um, take a look at that one more time, and if I flip it to the back, there is no code card, so I will deal with that later. Beautiful card, beautiful card. We got one and two brilliant stars, one chilling rain, and we'll save this one for last, a cosmic eclipse. Here we go. Boom, just for you guys on YouTube. And of course, we got to take a look at this beautiful, very, very well made Arceus figure. Very, very beautiful. One of my favorite Pokemon. I mean, it has to be everyone's, one of everyone's favorite Pokemon, right? Such a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful concept. So, um, we'll hang out in the back. Okay. Boom. Now, Again, let's go into Chilling Rain. Again, uh, we're going to be back May 23rd. I'll be stream I'll start streaming around 6 to 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And um, we're going to have some slab giveaways. We are going to have some uh, single giveaways. I have like a fat stack of, uh, you know, like some moderate rarity cards, like amazing rares, some VMAXs and stuff that I'd, I'd like to give to you guys. So um, uh, happy to be back full time again for you guys. Uh, not full time, full time, but, you know, like uh, to the regular schedule, which is three times a week. <coughs> my trash can real quick forgot I'm on YouTube and um, yeah I am so excited to basically stream hang out with everyone again see everyone on the stream again chat have a good chat with the community and also break 
of course, I have a lot of things planned for you guys and a secret pod project that I want to announce as well. So, our first is a Sazbuck non hollow. So, yeah, make sure you guys uh, save the date, mark it on your calendar, set your, uh, or go to twitch.tv slash the Tim uh, and uh, hit the follow button so you guys get the notification as soon as I go live for the first time in, must have been like, what, two or three months now. Here we go. Oh, makes it easier. A little V-Star marker. Very cool. Friends in the Lar. Weavile. Again, Brilliant Stars is a very... Uh, it's, it's a weird set for me because I, I always knew I was going to like this set. This set has always looked like it was going to be a really good set. But I didn't... After it came out and I started pulling it, it's not as... Uh, it wasn't as hype as I thought it would... I initially thought it would be. Even though it is... It's still, to me, the second best standard set that Pokemon has released in the Sword and Shield era. But I, st I still think, I have to say, Evolving Sky still takes a cake for me. It's such a, it's such a good set. I, I think it, there's about 13 alternate arts in there. All of them are absolutely beautiful. Even the Medicam, Medicham, sorry. Uh, Medicham, of all, of all Pokemon, Medicham gets a really nice alternate. Right? So I think... When it's all said and done with this era is all said and done at the end of the year i think i do think uh, evolving skies is going to be the set that defines sword, the sword and shield era but you never know oh this is the freaking muck and then the last pack i just blew through these four packs didn't i last pack is a cosmic eclipse if i wanted to hit it would be this it would be out of this this pack hopefully um, I don't want to, all right, cool. One, two, three, four. See if I get the ADP alt. A full art Rosa would be nice. Um, throw back to a shout out to Dragmire for pulling two full art Rosas in a row out of a co four packs of Cosmic Eclipse. That was insane. Hopefully, maybe I can pull one for myself. We got a Mars Shadow. No, that is a straight shutout out of four packs. Absolutely nothing out of four packs. That is, that is sad. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. So hopefully, hopefully this can redeem us. Ghosts from the past, the second haunting. Again, uh, the main pull for me personally is the Cyber Dragon. You guys already know um, Cyber Dragons are my Rayquazas in Yu-Gi-Oh!, I picked up one box. I probably should have picked up like a case or something, but money restraints, you know what I'm saying? But if we can pull up, pick up any ghost rare, it would be an absolute win. I believe the ghost rare Dark Magician Girl is currently uh, marketing for about 600 bucks, I want to say, give or take. Um, <clears throat> so if you, oh my god, they, they don't even package it properly this time. I think the last one they had like a proper like book sort of thing where you open this up and there were and there was a little insert and the three packs would be in there. These packs are just loose. That's not very good for a card condition, is it? But enough of that. We get blue eyes white. Are all all the arts blue eyes white dragon? Yep. Oh no, there's a dark magician girl right there. The Yu-Gi-Oh waifu. Let's go ahead and open up the Dark Magician Girl first. Seems like a really light pack off of the field, but we'll see what she yields. Don't fail me. Dark Magician Girl. We got a Vampire Kingdom. Larage, the guard of the god of archery, sorry. Oh, I need this! I actually need this for a, um an upcoming deck I'm running. Crystron Halka Fibrax. Very nice pull. That's actually that's actually a really good pull. We have a zombie world. No ghost rare, but we do have a Yang Zing Prana. I'm not really sure what this does. But that Crystron Halka Fibrax is big, for me at least. Very nice. I'll put that to the side. So remember, this feels like a thick pack on this one, but maybe that's just that's just me. Maybe that's, maybe it's just me. We'll see. If you guys made it this far, I do want to thank you guys for um, hanging around, and uh, hopefully we get to see you guys on twitch.tv slash the Tims on May 23rd. Uh, we will be back to streaming Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and a little bit more in between. We're going to be do doing 
a lot of Pokemon and TCG stuff. Uh, Digimon cards, hopefully. Dragon Ball Super cards. Mostly Pokemon cards, obviously, and some Yu-Gi-Oh! as well, obviously. Um, we're going to be doing some more gaming, which is going to be really cool. And yeah. It's going to be really exciting. And also, please uh, follow our... Uh, Socials as well, mainly uh, I, on IG at Timsky Collecting. Vision Hero Increase. Manju of 10,000 Hands. I don't. Mystical Shine Ball. This. Oh, massive print lines on this one. Right? That's that's not supposed to be a thing, right? <laughs> They're massive print lines. But, um, yep. Bunch of uh, reprints of older cards, which is cool. Here we go. Third pack in out of four packs. <clears throat> Plunder Patrol Ship Mork. Moerk? Reptilian Spawn. Another Crystron Halka Fibrax. I'll take it. Oh, Vampire Domination. Mecha Phantom Beast Colt Wing. I don't know which slot the Ghost Rare, if any, would be, uh, should be. So I'm just going to go straight through the pack and hopefully uh, we pull one. <laughs> and hopefully I'm prepared. Because a Ghost Rare, I believe a Ghost Rare, the averages, at least for the first time around, was like one every three cases. Not even just boxes, cases. Which is absolutely insane. That's unconfirmed, by the way. That's just 100% uh, word of mouth. So that's still uh, unconfirmed for me personally. But... Um, the point is, it's very, very hard. Very, very properly hard to pull a Ghost Rare. So if we pull one here, it's instant, you know, like, you can buy a few cases of it. Nine Pillars of Yang Zing. Chaos Greffer. Ten Yi Spirit Mapora. And the last card. Again, thank you guys so much. If you guys made it up to this point... Again, May 23rd, save the date and we'll be there. And uh, hopefully you guys, uh, good luck to everyone who enters the giveaways. It's going to be really fun. It's going to be really fun. All right. As we go, I saw Ghost and I got baited, man. Oh, no. <laughs> Ghostric Mummy is our last card. Two Crestron Health Fibraxes, though. Not bad. It's not bad. But yeah, with that being said, have a good night, everyone, and we'll see you guys on Twitch, all right? Goodbye.